So we're going to talk about the top few reasons why the ammunition shortage of 2021 and previous year 2020 is still sticking around. Okay, so as the start of the year, back in January, firearm sales have soared like 80% just in January alone. Nearly 23 million firearms were bought. Yeah, it's, there, it's going up every day. We knew from the beginning. We seen FPC share the stats from the Department of Justice, I believe it was, on how many background checks there actually were. And there was a record-breaking number last year in May. And March, um, every it's like every month, I think, really has been almost record-breaking. The following month beats the record of the previous month. It's going up every day. Yeah. It's just, it's crazy. It's, it's actually, I mean, it is a good thing. But it's a bad thing. more and more people are buying guns, but it's also a bad thing. It's a bad thing for people who have we guns that like to shoot. We can't get the guns. We can't get the ammo. You can get the guns. The guns really aren't an issue as much no. as it is the price gouging. They're cha they're jacking the prices oh, yeah. up because they know we've that noticed that. With oh the yeah, guns we bought right. The, the I mean, the Wasser Ten should be like a three four hundred dollar AK. From what I've read online and videos, they're saying yeah. it's like a six hundred dollar gun. Yeah, and max. you could probably find it for three or four hundred dollars, maybe six. We or paid seven literally years ago. double, almost triple that price. We paid what was it twelve hundred or eleven hundred yeah, for it? Twelve hundred. So you know, well over a thousand dollars now. That's just with the guns. The ammo, they're also jacking the prices up on. I would say probably one of the main reasons is because of all the new gun owners. Now, that's not definite. That's not the only reason why. There's other reasons why that we'll talk about. There's also the fact of the pandemic. The pandemic oh, yeah, definitely sure. had a lot to do. And I have another thing that. that could be a contributing factor on that is all the riots that yes. happened last year. People panicking. So, and um, No thanks. Anyways, when those events started happening, obviously a lot of people started panic buying the ammunition and therefore the prices went up and it got harder to, to find. And we just discussed last week where the Remington factory was on overtime, supposedly working to uh, get as much as they can out the door. So here's a little quick fact for you. Firearms sales went even higher last year to 2.8 million in June and 2.5 million in July. Walmart removed gun and ammunition displays from thousands of its U.S. stores. And we've which, noticed that. We've noticed that. They have like three guns left in there. But you know what's crazy though? What we think is ago, that they might have guns hidden in the back that yeah, they maybe. might just throw out once maybe. the other ones are sold out. Last maybe. year there were no oh, I know. guns or no ammo. Nothing in there at all. We went for it with empty shelves for months and months. Yeah. I mean, and same with the ammo. We think that they, oh, yeah. once they get a little bit, like two boxes left, they just fill it right back up. So they don't fill it up, but they put like 10 boxes out there. So now that you have the facts on you know, the ammo shortage, we're going to give our personal opinions as to whether or not we think this is a load of BS or if we think that it's partially true or not. Personally, I think that it may have slightly something to do with the ammo shortage, but I do think that the United States in general everything leading up to, to do with it november of last year i'm not going to specify but i think everybody can you know understand what i'm talking about oh yeah so. definitely i mean it was one of the most stressful times for to be an american and then you know, especially if you're a gun owner yeah that was pretty bad um you know there's so many agencies and everything that maybe there's something to do with it i don't know like i said i won't go in but you get what i'm saying if you're watching it i definitely think that there was some internal foul play to the disappearing ammunition. Now, real quick, I'm going to list the top 10 states with the largest increase in firearm sales. Michigan, Michigan. is 306%, New Jersey, 248, DC, 202, Utah, 150, Idaho, 135, Maryland, 134, Montana, 117, and Georgia. Alaska, 107, and Minnesota is 104. So that was from. January, January of 2020, 2020 to this year of 2020, or uh, January. Michigan doesn't really surprise me. There's a lot of sort of... There's uh, a lot of crime. A lot of crime and a lot of militia type people up there, which is, you know, kind of a good thing, I guess. But you do have a lot of people up there who really take the Second Amendment seriously. Like we, I mean, we all should take it seriously. We understand what it's for. But, you know, that's a contributing factor there. And that's pretty much why I believe... I think, would you agree with that? The fact that maybe the United States, there was some kind of internal... Yeah, I think there's some other kind of stuff going on that we don't, don't know necessarily about. know about, and it's disclosed information, so... I mean, you know, they do have a... But goal. we have an idea in the back of yes. our minds that we kind of, yeah. you know... 
they have a goal to do what they've been trying to do for a while now, and you know what that is. And uh, I think they're slowly getting closer to it, but that's probably a little bit. They are getting slightly better on in our area. I'm not this is not for everybody else, so don't attack us in the comments saying they're not lightening up. Yeah, because we have seen because people where everywhere is different. Everywhere is different. So there's other states out there that are better than ours with their ammo. It just depends where you're at. Yep. Uh, I will say that as of right now, it's better right now than it was six months ago. Oh yeah, I agree. Sure. So with that being said. Um, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you guys join the FPC as usual. And make sure you join GOA. Like, comment, share this video, subscribe, please. And keep your rifles by your side. And carry on. Thanks for watching. They'll come loud and they'll come fast. We shoot first and we can last. Keep your rifle by.